Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Hey guys, as you can see, I am here flying around Mars. Today we are celebrating multiplication on Mars. Learning multiplication in fifth grade can be a little tricky as the numbers get bigger and bigger. We are going to learn all about multiplying fluently in fifth grade as we travel around Mars. Today I'm going to multiply two digit numbers. Will you join me? Let's multiply 36 by 21 using the standard algorithm. This means we need to write our problem vertically, lining up the place values for ones and tens. Now to multiply, we start with one and we multiply it by six. One times six is six, so we write that digit below the ones column. Next, we wanna multiply one times three, which is three, so we will write that below the tens column. Now we're gonna get ready to multiply by the two in 21. Notice the two stands for 20 or two tens. So before we multiply, we need to put a zero as a placeholder below the six. Now we will multiply two times six, which is 12. However, when we write the product down below, we can only write one digit. This means we carry the one to the next column. Now we multiply two times three, which is six, but we need to add the one that we carried. Six plus one is seven, and we write that in the next column over. Our next step is to add 36 and 720. We're going to add in the ones column. Six plus zero is six. Now the tens column. Three plus two is five. And then finally, we can just bring down the seven because there isn't anything to add to it. This means we found that 36 times 21 equals 756. Great job. Let's try another problem. Let's multiply 34 times 48. We'll write the problem vertically, aligning the ones and the tens. Now let's multiply. Eight times four is 32, but we need to carry the three. Now we need to multiply eight times three, which is 24, but we add the three that we carried before. 24 plus three is 27. Our next step is to write a zero as a placeholder before we start multiplying by the four and 48. We also need to cross out the three that we had carried before. Okay, let's multiply four times four. That's 16. So we'll carry the one, and then we multiply four times three, which is 12, and then we add the one that we carried. 12 plus one is 13. Next, we're going to add. Two plus zero is two. 7 plus 6 is 13, but we need to carry the 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6. And then we'll just bring down the 1. We found that 34 times 48 equals 1,632. Will you help me with this problem? Here, we want to determine what number goes in the box. Looking at the problem, we need to find a number that when multiplied by three, we get eight in the ones digit. For example, three times two is six, so I know two is not the correct answer for the box. What about three times three? Well, that gives us nine, so that's not correct either. I do know, 3 times 6 is 18, so 
we could place 6 in the box and check the multiplication process. We already know 6 times 3 is 18, so we would have written the 8 below and carried the 1 up above. Now we would take 6 times 2, which is 12, and add the 1. That gives us 13 down below. Our next step would be to write 0 as a placeholder and then multiply 1 times 3 and 1 times 2, which gives us the 23. When we would add these values, 8 plus 0 is 8, 3 plus 3 is 6, and 1 plus 2 is 3. So far, 6 checks as the correct digit to go in the box. 23 times 16 equals 368. Great job! Thanks for practicing multiplication with us today. Multiplication on Mars Day is tons of fun as you can see. Thanks for being with us and have a wonderful day on Mars. Catch me if you can, Slurper. Oh, it is on. See you guys later. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.